It gives me great pleasure to speak to all Jamaicans on the eve of the new academic year 2022-2023. I welcome you to the new school year that comes with a new hope, a hope that after the dark clouds of COVID-19, we're getting back to normal life. This is welcoming, especially for those early childhood children who will be starting school for the very first time. Those primary school students who are going to high school for the very first time and all students as you move to the next grade. Let us go forward with enthusiasm and let us do our best to provide a great experience for our students. I would like to recognize the work of the team at all levels of the Central Ministry and in the seven regions. I want to acknowledge as well our school boards, our principals, our teachers, and all the administrative staff in our schools at all levels. It is your positive energy and dedication to excellence in education that will cause the transformation in the sector. We are committed to engaging in dialogue with our school communities, our key stakeholders, and the wider public through a variety of communication channels to get support for the continuing transformation of the education sector. The focus will be on implementing the recommendations of the Jamaica Education Transformation Commission. As you know, if we don't implement the recommendations, we cannot expect to see different results. We're not unmindful, however, of the significant strides that have been made in the education sector. We're celebrating 60 years as an independent nation, and we at the Ministry of Education and Youth believe that notwithstanding challenges, we have made notable progress over the many decades, and this should be appreciated. The current debate is rightly focused on where it should be, on the quality of education, and how can we get more of our students performing at a higher level. Within our budgets, we procured printed textbooks and eBooks so more of our students can have access to textbooks. The first tranche of the appropriate grants for our schools have been sent to schools already, and the second tranche is due this month. We have procured devices for our students and our teachers. Entering this school year, 8,469 teachers, representing 95% of teachers in our primary schools, have laptops. Our focus now is on providing similar laptops for teachers in our high schools, as we seek to encourage the use of technology as an important contributor to the teaching and learning experience. Our efforts, to have all our schools equipped with adequate internet connectivity are underway, and already many of our schools have been connected. In dealing with teacher vacancies, we have responded with a number of initiatives to help our school boards and principals in their teacher recruitment efforts. Yes, there have been resignations of some teachers at the start of this new school year. However, many of our schools have reported that they have filled the vacancies or are wrapping up on interviews. We will continue to work with our school boards and principals. We would have communicated many strategies to use, including engaging our retired teachers, especially for those hard to fill areas, such as geography, history, physics, and other subject areas. As you know, 1,877 teachers are off on vacation leave, retirement, or study leave as of September 1, 2022. Our principals have approval to hire back these teachers who will be compensated into the positions. We're also encouraging teachers who are in schools with excess teachers to apply for voluntary relocation to a school in need of teachers. Our regional directors can provide the details of that program. As we get our children or students back fully into the face-to-face -face environment, we are committed to doing all we can within our budgets to provide for our schools. To our parents, we ask that you please ensure your children obey the school rules. They are in place to ensure proper discipline and to keep your children focused on their education. The school year ahead holds tremendous potential and opportunities for students and educators alike. Our government has been consistently clear. The health and well-being of our children guide every decision we make. We are committed to improving educational outcomes and supporting young Jamaicans. I wish everyone a happy, healthy, 
and successful 2022-2023 school year. Thank you.